Go. Good afternoon, McLean. I'm Martina. And I'm Leila. Martina, are you excited for the end of school? Yes, I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm sad that we are leaving. I will miss the school. Yes, I agree. But now it's time for WMHS News. Next week's schedule is going to be a little different. On Monday, we'll have first period and a field day. Following that, we'll only have two periods every day with crab and gold lunches available and school ending at 11.35, followed by buses leaving at 11.55. Next Friday, we'll go to all classes for 10 to 15 minutes each, and school will get out at 10.10. So summer can begin. Now to Hannah with sports. Tickets are $10 each, $10 each, and must be purchased before the game at the link below. If they win, they will be headed to the state championship at John Kim High School tomorrow at 11 a.m. Good luck, Highlanders. Thanks, Anna, and good luck to the softball team. Neila, have you noticed that the air is kind of smoking? Yes, Martina. Yesterday, it smelled like everything was on fire. Let's go to Aidan to tell us what's going on out there. Over the weekend, Canadian wildfire smoke traveled down the east coast into the DMV. The smoke is very hazardous as it contains large amounts of CO2 and other toxins, which can lead to lasting effects on people's lungs and eyes. So air quality right now is significantly less than what it normally is due to the fact of the Canadian wildfires and because of the way the wind systems work in North America, we have kind of a wind belt basically taking all the smoke that's in Canada right now and blowing it down the eastern seaboard of the United States. It is all, you know, what we breathe goes into our lungs, and our lungs like clean fresh air because it has to filter out whatever goes in there. So what's happening right now is we have particulate matter, like little tiny particles that can get stuck in your lungs and cause health problems, especially if you have like asthma or stuff like that. And we also have other issues of like increased carbon monoxide, which is, you know, honestly poisonous to humans. While many don't seem to feel the effects of smoke that much, some students have faced serious consequences as major high school events, such as the state softball tournament, are being put in jeopardy. We haven't really been able to play at all this week because of the air quality, um, and our schedule has changed around a lot. Like, we have to play two hours away, and then that game was canceled, so now we have to play um, a doubleheader tomorrow, which has also affected people's final schedules. I think just trying to be ready, you know, wherever we play, whenever we play, like, we have to stay in the mindset that we're still going to play this game no matter where it is. Um, we just have to be ready. Millions of people have been affected by the smoke with heavy coughs and wheezing being heard all up and down the East Coast. But fortunately, in the coming days, the air quality will return to normal as will outdoor activities can resume. Signing off for WMHS News, this has been Aiden Carey, Henry Katz, and No Jewels. I hope it will be better in the next few days. I can wait to breathe fresh air. Starting on Monday, any student no longer needing the laptop and charger can return them to the library reference room. A student who needs their computer for finals, the last day to return them is to your teacher during eighth period. A student who needs their laptop for an FPPS summer program can return them during new laptop distribution at the beginning of the school next year. New laptop will not be checked out until all laptops have been returned. Now to Saban for the fun fact. Hey McLean, it's Saban with your fun fact of the day. Do you believe in unicorns? Because Scotland sure does. The Scots like them so much that they made unicorns their national animal. Thanks, McLean. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Savan. I think I learned something. Hey, Colleen, how is the weather looking this weekend? Hey, McLean. The weather this weekend is actually going to be very sunny and nice with clear skies, unlike the pollution we've been having recently. Friday is going to be nice. Today is going to be nice and sunny and it's going to have a high in the 70s and a low in the 50s, which is a common theme throughout the week, as you'll see, with highs rarely, with highs getting up into maybe the high 80s in some days and the lows sometimes getting up to 60s, but other than that, it's pretty consistent. Saturday and Sunday are also going to be sunny days, and Monday is going, Monday is going to have some rain, and Tuesday will be sunny again, but that's all for the weather. Now back to you, anchors. Thanks, Colleen. That's all for today's new show. Unfortunately, our exchange year is over, so it's our last new show. We will miss McLean a lot. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and Instagram for more updates and announcements. Have a, Have good, a good life, life Highlanders! Highlanders.